Hello everybody, this is The Bad Chef. I'm from Chicago and I make food. This dish is originally Indian, it's called Sabudana, Kiki, or tapioca pudding. In Arabic, we call it Sagdana. Sabudana is made from the sagu starch, and it's kind of a stem or roots. Uh, they make flour out of it. I think the guy who invented Sagbudana is a genius and he deserves a very high recognition because he made a food from something that is useless. Hindu people have Sagbudana when they fast because it's an eggless dish. The ingredients for this dish is very simple. It's five cups of milk for one cup of Sagbudana. One tablespoon of sugar for each cup of milk. A little bit of starch just to thicken the milk. Cardamom and saffron. We start with heating the milk. I would like to heat the milk to 160 degrees. More than that, it will burn. The moment the milk reaches 160, I will put it in low heat. Just to make the process simple, let's put everything. Sabudana, the sugar, and the starch. This is the one tablespoon of starch, and five tablespoon of sugar. So, for the sabudana, if we can soak it before, that's fine, make it easy. If not, we'll cook it a little bit more. When we cook the milk, we should cook it to a degree, not more than 160 Fahrenheit. And we should work it all the time because it will burn and stick to the bottom. The sabudana is very hard, so I expected it will take a long time. See, it's very hard, I couldn't crack it even. The size of the sabudana we are used to in Arabia is way smaller than this. That's why I expect this to take longer time until it puffed up and become translucent. 25 minutes passed on this. And as I told you guys, if we soak it before, it will take a shorter time. But now it's ready and perfect. And now it's time to add some flavor as the sabudana does not have that much of flavor. But the cardamom will give it a really good flavor. Cardamom is common in Arabia. Where I came from, from Mecca, they use a lot of cardamom in any sweet. And the saffron is Indian. This is another thing that the Arab people use, and it's rose water. So I'm gonna add some, a little bit, maybe a quarter of a tea tablespoon to add some flavor. Mix everything. It is kind of thick, and this is also how the Arab love it. The Indian people add some pistachio too. And here you go, I garnish with some pistachio and a little bit of cardamom. And this is the sabudana everybody, I make it in the classic Arab way and uh, the original Indian way at the same time. Let's give it a taste. Mmm, the saffron smell is like, really good and the flavor too. Love saffron. Thank you. You can have the sabudana warm or chill and it tastes really good finally everybody my facebook page is called bash chef again that's the same thing as my snapchat and my youtube channel